<laughs> hey guys, uh, what's going on? So, this is another uh, game that uh, Omega also sent to me. And we have another 2v3 going on here. So, we have uh, Omega and Slim. I'm sure it's Omega anyway. Yes, this is where Omega and Slim. And Mustafa and Infantry on one team. And we also have Y X Y Z as Flame. Smile to Life as Nuke. And BT as the weapon. Um on the other team. So I've not seen this match, so everything will be a surprise to me as well. And it looks like Varadoza coming out to the supplies early on. Is it green is also trying to get the supplies early on? And it looks like Omega's taking the supplies, whereas uh, Orange will probably have to try and take the, the supply pile up here and all that. Anyway, uh, standard board over like usual, power plant, barracks, uh, double <coughs> supply if they are able to. And then probably the double war factory for the all except his weapon. And just have at it. So they put a bunker there probably to either destroy that, or probably just to stop me from going in that in general. Uh, and then we have the supplies to go over here. That's just, yeah, supplies trying to take these for um, Orange trying to get a second supply. Because a second supply for all factions is quite important. I have some action going down here. Trying to kill the uh, end defense tower from BT. So Omega VBT is here. Flame V Mustafa and then Nuke will be the support player for both players as well as trying to take the middle. And we will fight for this though probably because they're all China. So all it's like thick from um, apart from uh Shibuffy. But yeah, this will be really important for, for both the flames and the nuke. And it looks like Pink's getting it, so Nuke's getting that. Cool. As in final, oh, final cannons, so that'd be good to take out the uh, base defenses with super weapon. Ooh, that's EMP. So I'm not sure what that actually is. Ooh, you know, same mob to kill that's really useful. Uh, getting a second, getting a war factory up finally. And we've got BT building some more Patriots. And having a wound in the final cannon killing the bunker there. That's nice, that's a nice move. No, I'm not sure. What is the range? Okay, so if they can it, so if they can it, so how it's at all. Yeah, how it's can actually out range uh, any beast defences in. I'm pretty sure anyway. So that's, that's good. And it has some tanks moving up here. Probably trying to... Oh, what's that Yeah, they're probably going to try and take this out. That wolf actually be really good if they can kill it. Uh, and a barrel, if they can just show that, that'd be also good. We have infantry trying to attack uh, flames as well. There's a couple megas also got a very big army right now. Ooh, they've killed the supply trucks. So that'll be a very big dip in the uh, XYZ's economy.
Yeah, Dan Fernand has no luck. Ooh, yeah, look at that's dead for that we are definitely BT the economy. Oh, they can kill a door so that'd be good too. Ooh! Oh, they killed the their own thing. They killed, killed their own vehicle. That's really good. Actually, because that means uh the that means if they doesn't get the vision to for that. Yeah, those in front of guys have no chance whatsoever. Oh, they're going to take that. Oh, the right. so weapon space defenses are good, but at the same time, you don't want to spam them. Like, you, you can spam them a bit, but like, you don't want to rely on them. You really want to go it still because. Um, although they're good. They are all like better than all the other factions. They're not the best. Like, they're not the. They're not the best. Just constantly just keep spamming. And we've got some time to do nothing in the middle. Of course, do. Ooh, we've killed more factory. Oh, energy is doing a good number on uh, Red's expansion. They'll probably try and. Uh, Oh, it wasn't empty either. But yeah, they will probably either... Well, the army, they'll probably either push back, or uh, they'll actually probably move down to kill Pink's expansion area here, and then probably go to Flame. Although Nuke is probably going to be the faction that will kill the Luke. It's going to be more of a threat. Flame is weaker. Look how Megan and BT are battling out. Oh, they're going left. Okay, never mind. Looks like, looks like they don't want to try and cut the tank reduction by half. That's another supply, that's another Chinook that BT has lost. Yep. And no one's pushing for the middle. Hmm. Well, well, they held that. Well, uh, BT is lost all of his base defences, so that may be um, <laughs> slightly uh, bad for him. Hmm, what's this? Ooh, an infantry drop at the back. Now, they'll probably either move in to kill the supplies, or... Well, actually, they'll either go up down here to kill the pink supplies to put uh, threaten their economy. Or they'll go in there. Let me go this way and do it. And it looks like this has gone about the doors as well. Ooh, and it looks like BT's get his kill on the middle now. That's a big, that's a big loss for a uh, smile, smile to life to lose. Really big, really big problem. Because the middle on this map is kind of like. The, the middle has like three supplies. So if you have the middle, then you have like. Money to, to give them the gauge of money to come in. And it looks like Omega's pushing uh, BT back into his base a bit. Oh, we have some action going on here. Which is virtually no map for anything cheese. Oh, did he get any responsibility? He did not. Oh, that's a big issue for, for Newt General though.
Yeah, Kumanji has yeah, Kumanji has no chance against the Nifchis units. It's all we have some uh, Vortex cannons. Probably gonna focus on the infantry here. Although the these tanks can probably kill the Vortex cannons easily, but the EMP uh was in for the uh German troopers and stuff like that now. Oh, and a flame overlord. Why the heck is not in the internet center though? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's so easy to pick off though. Look at Mega Rank 3 because he's got a helix and an FUD out. Probably rank 4 at this point in game actually. Nothing's happening to Flame though. So Flame actually has a chance to push back here. Oh no, no, never mind. He's got an army up coming up now. And they have quit. You are the that was a really good game. I enjoyed watching that. That was a good game. Anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this casting of this Contra, this Command Conquer Genre of Contra game. And I hope you stay tuned for more replays of this game in the future. I should be getting sent like, a good few more of uh, these in the near future by probably Omega. I'll try and find other people that's been, that plays instead of these just these same people because it get like after a while it gets kind of boring to watch the same people play even if it's different factions it's quite boring to watch the same uh, people uh, constantly play so I'll try and find factions that have none of these players in, in, in the game just cast that because I don't want to like although Omega is probably one of my good friends and I like watching games where he's playing because I don't, I don't be that good at this game myself like Omega is much better than I am so it's good to watch him play because then it helps me get better because I know what they're doing. But at the same time, I want to get games that isn't just these people in it because uh, BT XYZ Omega and Mustafa have been in all the four. I'm pretty sure all four of them have been in, have been in the four games I've casted now for this game. So I can want to get different. Um, people in it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this uh, casting of a Saints General's Contra replay. And feel free and I'll try and get some replays of like Red Up 3, Kane's Pog Base Game General and Pog Shop 2. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.